Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Saturday, August 10th, 2024. We are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Let's recap yesterday's results. So, yesterday's results went two and two. Uh, members only, best bet Falcons, minus two and a half. That was a loss. They, they, didn't, they just didn't show up. It is what it is. And the, and the Dolphins played harder than they ever had in the preseason. So it's whatever. Uh, Eagles money line, win. Texas minus two and a half, win. Over 37 and a half, Houston and Pittsburgh. Honestly, we should have got that over, but, you know, is what it is. Overall for the year, though, for preseason, I mean, six and four. I'll take that all day long. And it kind of lines up with last year. We went 218 and 144. That's 60%, uh, hitting 60% of our bets. 54 and 24 on best bets. That's a, I mean, 70% clip. I got to do the math on that. We were plus 73.14 units overall for the year, though, last year. And if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these NFL videos every single day the NFL is on, along with the uh, co college football, the MLB, which, by the way, in the MLB, we're a 32 and 8 run right now. 32 and 8. Uh, along with, by the way, 18 and two in our last <laughs> in our last two days, which is in uh, three days, excuse me, and that uh, unbelievably unbelievably good job. Um, so definitely hit that subscribe button, like the video, and the notification bell, and we also post college football, NBA, NHL um, as well. And we're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the month. I'm gonna do a giveaway if we do. I'm really excited about that. If we uh, decide to do, if if we get there, if we get there, I'm gonna do a sick giveaway for you guys. Uh, so I'm definitely trying to get to 15k. Um, and guys, by the way, just so you guys know, all of our membership is 40% off right now. Uh, we're 17-2 in our last 19 members only best bets. So uh, if you're not on membership, you're just losing money at this point. Uh, but let's get into the plays that we have uh, today. So I'm going to start with our first play. We're going to start with an early game. We're going with the Redskins, minus 2.5 versus the Jets. First off, Jane Daniel is going to play. My, my Heisman Trophy winner. My guy. I'm a Redskins fan. He's going to play today. And he's going to play probably two series. I hope I get like three out of them without getting hurt, of course. But... You know, I want Jaden Daniels to play as much as possible. I just want to see him. That's what I want to do. Or really, honestly, either none or, or not, or, or like two or three series. That would be cool. But he's going to be playing today, which is going to be big. And when you look at the when you look at the Redskins, they they, did, they this 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 offseason have done a great job filling out their roster. They they last year's roster was total trash. I said that last year. I don't understand why there was any optimism last year with Ron Rivera as coach, but it is what it is. I said that before. If you look at my August videos, I literally said that. I did not say the Redskins are going to be good. I knew they were going to be bad. But this year, they got quarterback depth is unbelievable. In preseason, you got to look at quarterback depth more than anything. Marcus Mariota will be playing today. That That's the Jaden Daniels backup. Then Jeff Driscoll, who is not a good not a good regular season quarterback, but a good preseason one. And Sam Hartman, who, by the way, last year with Notre Dame, I thought played unbelievably well, and he was great in Wake Forest. So we've got a ton of quarterback depth. We've really filled out the rest of the roster, too. So it's a more deep roster in comparison to the Jets. Now, Aaron Rodgers, I think, might play. I'm not entirely sure. But they were dealing with Tyrod Taylor and Andrew Peasley because Jordan Travis is out. I don't even know who Andrew Peasley is. I have no fucking clue who this guy is, and he's not very good. But the biggest thing about the Jets, though, isn't even the quarterback depth, it's the rest of their depth. They are really, the Jets are extremely top heavy this year, and the top is a bunch of veterans who just, who, who probably aren't going to play all that much in the preseason, if at all, because they just need rest. And we filled out our roster, Washington filled their roster nicely, and for preseason standards, we have the depth you need to win by more than three. So I'm going with the Redskins minus two now versus the Jets. Next, we're going to be over 39 and a half in Las Vegas and Minnesota. Both depth charts for quarterback are great, and I mean great for preseason standards. Look, when you look at when you look at Vegas, Garner Minshew, Aiden O'Connell, Anthony Brown, who by the way used to be the he played regular season games for the Ravens in one games, and Carter Bradley. That's a pretty good. That, that's a decent line. That's a decent line of quarterbacks. But when you look at like Minnesota, I mean Sam Darnold, who's going to play. J.J. McCarthy is going to play. Nick Mullins is going to play, and Jaron Hall. All of these guys, other than J.J. McCarthy, have played literal NFL snaps. And when you look at this as well, I like the over here because first off, Vegas has no defensive depth whatsoever, and the Vikings defense is total shit. It's, it's horrible. On top of that, the Vikings are obviously have an offensive coach with Kevin O'Connell who's incredibly smart and is going to put up points. And Vegas has the offensive talent, at least depth-wise, to be able to score enough against a bad Minnesota defense, and they don't, don't have a defensive, a good defensive coordinator nor a defensive head coach, so the defense is going to be trash. Uh, the sharp money day is heavy on the over, and I mean heavy. I wouldn't be surprised this number got to 40 and a half, 41 and a half, 42 and a half by the time it closed. So I'm going the over 39 and a half, Vegas and Minnesota. 
And then last, we're going with the Browns, minus five and a half versus the Packers. The Browns quarterback depth is insane for the preseason. Deshaun Watson, who I think will play a little bit. Jameis Winston, who will 100% play. By the way, if you saw his quote the other day, it's unbelievably good. Uh, Tyler Huntley, who, by the way, somehow was somehow a pro bowler a couple of years ago. He's on a third string quarterback. And DTR, who was a preseason MVP from last year. The Packers passed Jordan Love. Don't really, I mean, Sean Clifford's fine. Michael Pratt is okay, but there's not really much there. The Browns quarterback depth is so much more. I mean, it's so much better than what you have in, in Green Bay. And the one thing people have always said about Cleveland the last like three, four, five years is that their that their roster is stacked top to bottom. And that's and that's true. When you look at the depth in Cleveland, I mean, if you look at their their wide receiver depth, they've got they've got good players that will come in that are not going to be you know the, the outside their starters. Excuse me. They've got good offensive line depth. Their defense is going to be is going to be nasty as hell like they always are. And the Packers one of their big things is they don't really have a ton on defense. I mean uh, uh, their their starters are pretty good. I'm saying the starters are fine, but like past the starters, there's not really much there. And same thing for the same thing for the um, they have a little bit of depth in the wide receiver position, but not really much past that. So I like the Browns here minus five and a half plus the public is hammering the Packers because they because of how well they played in the playoffs last year but the problem is not, not the same the starters are not playing really so it's not the same team the, the, the team names don't matter at all and it's trap line five and a half is a lot of points I mean a lot of points and everyone's on the plus five and a half I'm gonna go against the public give me the Browns minus five and a half versus the Packers now I might be adding a player or two here and there. I'll be posting those on my Twitter if I do. Members just have those texted to you. Um, and also, I'll be posting those in the pin comment below. So definitely be checking on that. And again, guys, our membership right now is 40% off. It's not going to be on. It's not going to be 40% off forever. You're losing money if you're not on it right now. We're on a 17, 17 and 2 members only run. So definitely go check it out. Again, ZDMBest.com slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. But guys, go lock in those picks. Let's go win together. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow.